Hi, this short video is about to share my latest progress with the Blur Up Hardware unit. Uh, the unit is not assembled yet because I'm still waiting for some parts. So there are two PCBs scattered all over the table. This is the main board and this is the control board. And visually it will look pretty much uh, the same as the Revision 4 unit, only the button arrangement is a little different. Uh, but mostly I was working on uh, this part of the main board, these are CV gate outputs and analog input. Uh, and I want to talk about that, so let's take a closer look. The main board has four CV gate outputs which deliver control voltages in a huge 20 volt span from minus 10 to plus 10 volts with 16 bits precision. Also, I have analog input here which I will hopefully use for uh, either audio bit detection or pulse clock input. And also, I have this. 3 volts battery which is used to store uh, the system settings when the device is switched off. In my setup here I have uh, hardware blow up connected to uh, the mono mono lancet through CV. There is no MIDI involved here. The only MIDI cable goes from the keyboard. Uh, so I made this uh, custom a breakout cable with a pitch CV, gate and filter cutoff frequency which go into hardware blurb and these three outputs deliver pitch, gate and velocity linked to filter cutoff. Now blurb is configured uh, as MIDI through so I will play mono lancet from my keyboard using blurb as a CV gate interface and blow up is connected to mono lancet through CV gate and velocity. Let's check how it sounds. As you see it's velocity sensitive. And now let's check the accuracy of the tuning. Fine across one octave, two octaves. and four octaves again three octaves two octaves one octave I think it's pretty good. Uh, you still can hear some non-linearity, uh, but I think it's okay. Maybe I will improve it uh, through software, but I think it's okay. And now let's play something different. Bass line. This is some preview of the user interface. Uh, this page corresponds to information panel in software blur up. So as I press the buttons they are highlighted. And these falling dots represent uh, the notes generated by the arpeggiator. Let's check the audio input. I will tweak mono lancet so it will make constant sound to make uh, to check the waveform. It will 
this sawtooth wave and now I'll unplug audio input from Mono Lancet uh, from my mixer and plug it into Blue Arps audio input so the audio input is connected let's go to another page and let's increase the volume and bingo we see the waveform I just tuning now I tweak the filter increase the resonance well it's still pretty noisy you can hear when I, when I uh, those of you who uh, had some experience with mixed analog and digital boards know how much pain is it to isolate audio signals from digital noise so in my case audio signal is not completely clean but I think it's pretty enough for what I want to do I just need to detect uh, pulse clock which doesn't require much noise protection and maybe I'll implement uh, audio bit detection which is basic uh, low frequency kind of kick drum detection so I think it will work for these scenarios pretty well so that's pretty it uh, and uh, the main thing uh, that finally finally I have all the um, all the hardware stuff on my board uh, working and kind of uh, I confirm that it works as expected so basically all the hardware problems are, ho are solved and hopefully my next revision will be without these uh, dirty fixes this is what I wanted to share for today so thanks for watching stay tuned and have fun with Blue Arp